Welcome to Morning File. I'm your host, Emma McCarty, and today I'm joined with Tori Dockery, who is McMaster University's Academic Skills Program Assistant. So how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Great, thanks. So I guess to start, why don't you begin by telling me a little bit about Academic Skills and what sort of programs the Academic Skills team is running this summer? Yeah, so the Academic Skills is a department within the Student Success Center, um, and our role is to really kind of like help students, not only with like the academic transition into first year, but also with just some academic supports throughout the year, um, and at any point kind of like when they feel like they need some support as they navigate university. Um, so we do have some programs that are running specifically this summer that um, are targeting incoming first year students to help them transition to university. Um, so the few that we have running this summer are the summer writing program and the academic skills prep series. And then we also have some programming happening during um, welcome week. And I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a rundown on these programs. Um, so the summer writing program is a two week long program that is actually currently running now. Um, it began on July 20th and will end on July 31st. This program targets SOC and humanity students specifically and is designed to help students bridge the gap in writing between high school and university. Um, there is still space in our flexible stream where you can kind of work at your own pace and if you're interested in registering you can just shoot us an email at skills at mcmaster.ca. Um, the entire program is taking place online on Avenue to Learn, which is the online platform that most McMaster professors use. Um, and we're running it in collaboration with the library. So um, we have several librarians who are running a few online sessions on things like research and source integration, so that you're not only kind of getting the writing side of like how to put together an essay and an assignment, but also kind of like a more integrative approach to how to look into um, research, which may be new for some students. Um, and the academic skills prep series is also running right now. Um, it's a six week long program to help students with their academic transition to university. Um, the first two weeks of the program have already happened. We're currently on week three um, and they focus on kind of like more broad skills like being a university learner and time management. And as we move forward, this week focuses on note taking. We get kind of more skill specific um, and we'll be talking about things like reading, writing and being an online learner. If you'd like to get caught up on the first few weeks of content, you can visit the SSC's website. So the McMaster Student Success Center under the academic skills section and we have all of the recordings webinars and a lot of the information from previous weeks on there um, and each week features two features a blog two webinars and an Instagram contest um, so the blog is written by me and it's kind of like the student perspective on each of the topics that we're talking about and kind of like how I dealt with it throughout my transition to university. And then the first webinar is on Wednesdays and that is kind of run by the academic skills team and we kind of dive a little deeper into what the skill, like what skill we're talking about that week and kind of like how students can improve and some strategies, strategies that they can use. Um, to kind of like better implement that skill during their first year. And then on Fridays, we actually have a live Q&A with a professor um, from different faculties where we kind of talk about that skill and they kind of give us their insight and advice and students have the opportunity to kind of like ask the professor questions live. And then um, every week we have an Instagram or we have a contest on the SSC's Instagram um, and their handle is at MacSSC, um, where incoming students can comment on a post and tag a friend, and we give away a $50 campus store gift card um, each week. And then we also have a big contest coming at the end of the summer where there's more information on our website, and we'll be giving away an iPad. Great. So obviously you're offering a ton for first years to get involved in. Why is it maybe so important that first years do um, get involved and do take advantage of this opportunity? I think it's really important because I think there's a big difference between what academics look like in university versus what they look like in high school. And I think during a normal year, that bridging that gap is really difficult. I know I didn't participate in any summer programming or any kind of like academic prep when I came to school and it took me a while to kind of like adjust. And I think these programs would have been very helpful to have someone like sit down and explain to me like how to write notes, what my classes were going to look like, what to expect. But I think especially with this year, with fall being online mm -hmm. and online learning being something that's very new to a lot of students. I mean, I know it's new to me and I'm going into my fourth year. Um, I think that it's especially important that we kind of like, that students take advantage and have conversations around what the school year is going to look like and how they kind of should adjust 
their skills so that they are successful because ultimately like we all have the toolkit to be successful in university and we all have the toolkit to be successful online learners but sometimes we just really kind of like need things to be like explained to us and to have kind of like a little bit more of like a deeper dive into how we can use the skills that we already have to be successful and I think that this these programs are really kind of like an opportunity for students to just be prepared for um, some of the new challenges that will happen in university. Yeah, so you said um, you're writing a blog post and you're also going into fourth year yourself. Was there anything that you felt personally surprised by when you entered um, first year? I think I was surprised by, okay, so I was initially very intimidated by a lot of the assignments. And so I found it very shocking when I looked through my syllabus on like my the syllabus for my various classes during the first week um, because a tip that people always give is when you get your syllabus for your class look through them and see kind of like what assignments you have and mark down the dates when they're due mm -hmm. and when I was looking at these assignments like they all seem to be larger um, and worth a lot more than I had seen in high school so I'd never really seen like a grade breakdown where it was like this test is 30% of your mark or this assignment is going to be worth so much and I'd also like never written really like an essay or paper that was longer than about 1500 words and all of a sudden like my essays were 2500 words and my midterms were like 25 to 30 percent of my grade and I just found that all to be like very overwhelming um, and I think for me the big thing was recognizing that like I do have the skills to be able to navigate them and that sometimes I just kind of need to apply the things that I already know in a new way um, because a lot of the assignments while they may seem intimidating are actually more similar to things that you may have seen before than you may realize and that there are so many resources on campus including like our team um, there's a writing center that's normally located in Mills Library but that um, is online this year and like your professors and TAs and different people at the library that you can reach out to to kind of like really help support you through those and just to teach you how to use the skills that you already have and apply them effectively yeah yeah mm -hmm. even just like going off of that when I was in school it was definitely at first I was like wow it's so many like it's less assignments but they're worth more and they're bigger and so it's definitely just learning time management and getting those skills down as soon as you can type of thing. Yeah, they seem very intimidating at first, especially yeah. during that first week when you haven't like seen anything like that before. Yeah, but they're not at the end of the day once you once you get those skills. Um, so you said some of the programs have already begun the two um, mm -hmm. programs. So what are common questions that you're seeing from first year so far? Yeah, so especially with classes being online, I think the questions this year are very different than ones that we've seen um, in the past, mm -hmm. but there definitely is kind of like a trend and things that people are kind of like anxious or worried about coming in um, to first year. One of the ones that I personally hadn't thought of, um, given that I'm kind of like a domestic student and that I live in the same, like in the Ontario area, mm -hmm. um, is time zones. Um, a lot of students are very unsure, especially like if they're living on like a different coast in Canada or if they're international students about time zones and if they have classes that they have to attend live, what to do if that class is at like two o'clock in the morning for them as opposed mm -hmm. to like noon if you were kind of in Hamilton. Um, and so when we get this question, so it seems to be something that keeps coming up, we kind of really stress to students that this is one of the things that they need to talk to their professors about, um, that professors kind of like are human beings and that they are understanding and that if you're in one of the situations where their class is running at a really odd hour for you and it's really hard to participate kind of deal um, you can make, potentially they can make accommodations for you and so those are really kind of like the people that you need to reach out for or to reach out to another question that's really common um, is the structure of online learning mm -hmm. and kind of any if we have any insight into what online learning is going to look like in the fall and this kind of once again really depends heavily on the professor um, because professors really kind of they get to decide what their syllabus is they get to decide what their assignments look like and they get to decide how they deliver their material this happens during a normal year and it's definitely going to happen now that we're online um, but the rule of thumb really is is that there's kind of two different types of lecture styles um, there's synchronous and asynchronous so the synchronous courses or lectures are going to happen where it's kind of like potentially like a zoom call where you all get together at one specific time and everyone logs in and your professor kind of 
um, delivers the lecture live and you can kind of have like in-person participation. Um, the second is asynchronous and this is where the professor will potentially record the lecture beforehand or maybe they just post slides, that kind of thing. Um, and then you can engage with the material at your own time. Um, and so profs can kind of choose what the format that they're going to use will look like and they can also kind of choose a mix of them if they want to. I know um, at the end of the school year last year I had um, one class where the professor did asynchronous lectures and so they would post them on like Monday morning and um, we could watch them when it was convenient for us and then on like Wednesday afternoons we had like a synchronous um, Zoom call where we all came together and we could like ask questions and it was kind of like a popcorn tutorial style thing where we could like engage with our peers and ask them questions and do that kind of thing so it really kind of just does depend on the professor they can choose what they like but they can also do blend if that's what works for them. Yeah. yeah, so obviously then the academic skills programs are being delivered virtually. So mm -hmm. uh, where can students go if they want to access these programs? Yeah, so um, for all of the information about our programs, you can just go to the Student Success Center's website um, under the academic skills umbrella. And so all of the information's there. You register for a lot of them through Oscar Plus. Um, and so when you go onto the website, there are actually links right on the website where you just click and it'll take you straight to Oscar Plus and straight to kind of like register um, for the events there. So all of our information is on the Student Success Center's website. But I would also recommend following um, the SSC on Instagram. The handle, once again, is um, at Mac SSC, just because a lot of information is posted there, not just about us, but about other departments in the SSC. And we do run um, our weekly contests and stuff like that through there. So that was Tori Dockery discussing McMaster University's academic skills program. To learn more about the programs or to sign up, you can click the links below. Uh, don't forget to check out their Instagram page that will also be linked below. For more Morning File content and other um, exciting new content, you can check out cfmu.ca.